what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about jordan peele we'll be talking about scream 7 we'll be talking about chucky and friday the 13th now i want to start off with chucky chucky season 4 still has not been confirmed but today according to jennifer tilly over on twitter we should be finding out or at least they in that camp will be finding out if chucky is being renewed or not i've also seen this being correlated with the fact that many people were assuming this had something to do with the nbcu upfront presentation that has now come and gone and there was no mention of chucky i think a lot of the reasons why chucky was not going to be a part of this is because chucky just ended and this presentation was planned in advance and they were already deciding on what to do with the show before they were even putting together this presentation. So they put together a presentation into things that they were already set in stone on. Not Chucky, because Chucky is still up in the air. Now, we haven't found out if the show is canceled or not just yet. But if I were to bet, and just going off of things logically, if they really were going to be renewed, I feel like we would have found out by now. That's not to say that they didn't do this last time with season three, because they, they very much so did something about this just feels very different i didn't we didn't get told to contact this number and have our voices heard for season four like we have been or for season three like we are with season four something about it is just very different if they had confidence in the show i feel like they would just announce it without us having to do all this pushing for it to me it indicates like they want to pull the plug on the show and that's likely the scenario that's going to play out if it doesn't then it just doesn't i feel like the show is about to be canceled something about the way they want us to push for it just isn't the same as what we've gotten with season two and three those were renewed without us having to push for it sounds like the execs the high ups they want to pull the plug on this show and likely want to get back into these movies which mancini can easily take those plans and transition it over into the movie but we can stay locked in today and see if we get anything announced throughout the day as far as like a renewal announcement we'll just have to wait and see diving into friday the 13th so kevin williamson has put out a response to brian fuller over on twitter because we know kevin williamson was supposed to be involved with this show the idea when he was spearheaded by brian fuller as the showrunner seems to have shared details on the pilot and his episode so kevin said so sorry i won't be a part of what would have been an epic brian fuller show your pilot was so beautifully realized a gorgeous portrait of a mother unraveling in her grief, not to mention bloody horrific. I was so looking forward to our hour long chase episode. Now see, that sounds like we could have gotten an episode in line with Sick. Kevin Williamson, of course, wrote, wrote Sick. And that could have been very cool to see. An hour long chase episode could have been very cool. And it sounds like the pilot of Brian Fuller's show would have been heavily focused on Pamela Voorhees and the grief surrounding what happened to her after her son Jason had drowned which definitely could have been a great episode in and of itself it's unfortunate we won't be getting to see any of this realized the show again is still in development but those were some nice details to hear and I guess also going off of the last video I just did this seems to confirm that Kevin Williamson probably isn't going to be involved with the show either and then i have to consider don mancini who's rumored to be involved not confirmed so is don mancini going to be involved i doubt i doubt that it seems like it's going to be a completely new creative team kevin doesn't outright say he's not going to be involved but it's to say the fact that he says i was so looking forward to our hour-long chase episode it's almost as if that entire thing has been scrapped so are they keeping kevin on board and kevin's going to be part of a different episode time will tell now I want to talk about this Jordan Peele movie really quick. Jordan Peele's movie that was titled GOAT, actually that was the working title apparently, because now this new psychological thriller that he's producing is titled Him. It's going to release in theaters on September 19th, 2025 from Monkey Paw Productions, Jordan Peele, and Universal. Justin Tipping is directing, and Marlon Wayans is starring as a legendary quarterback tasked with training a rising young athlete played by Tariq Withers, who goes to train at the Aging Athletes Isolated Compound. Now, this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Jordan Peele 
is not the one directing this movie. I want to stress that because I know exactly what they're trying to do. They're doing the same angle they did with Nia DaCosta's Candyman. This is not Jordan Peele's fourth movie. This is being produced by Jordan Peele and they're highlighting Jordan Peele's name because of the success that he's brought Universal and they know that Jordan Peele's name, the production company Monkey Paw, is going to draw in attention to this project. This is Justin Tipping's movie. Jordan Peele's fourth movie is still a work in progress. I will go out and support this movie. Jordan Peele, I think, just recently produced the Monkey Man movie. So the movies that he produces, directs, all of them tend to be good from my perspective. So I have no problem going out and seeing him whenever it drops in theaters. The premise sounds really interesting as well. Last thing I'm going to talk about is Scream 7. So Scream 7 is still something that is going to shoot this summer. That is the expected time frame. Should be out sometime in 2025. We don't have any news on that of when specifically it'll be out. We also don't have any other cast news outside of Nev Campbell expecting Hayden, not Hayden, but expecting Courtney Cox and Patrick Dempsey to sign on, etc. Uh, Carrie Russell being rumored to be in talks. Now, I want to talk about Hayden Pantier once more because a few of you I've seen comments saying that she's been at some cons expressing interest in returning now if you were someone at one of these cons where she expressed interest in returning let me know down below but the fact that she's expressing interest lets me know that kirby likely isn't part of any creative plans for scream 7 and it's not to say that that is a good or bad thing but thinking about how scream 6 ended logically and narratively i do think it would make more sense for kirby to return in a movie that features the core four the line that we're all part of the same effed up family, yes, you could say that extends to her acknowledging Sidney Prescott and Gail Weathers' role in all of this, but it definitely feels a little bit more direct to what she just went through with the core four. So then to have her show up in a movie where the core four isn't present, yes, you can make it work, but it would feel a little bit disjointed. But if you have been one of these people that have been at these cons and have heard Hayden Pantier express interest in returning to Scream, let me know down below because apparently a few of you have been making those comments on my Twitter page. I just want to know if anyone else has heard her make comments about this expressing interest in being back because if she has made these comments that would indicate that she is not part of current plans for Scream 7. I would imagine that everybody that is of course has already been contacted. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.